Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle and today, or actually this week, uh, is Summerween. Today is Friday the 15th and I want to maybe try my hand at daily vlogging Summerween. I've never done this before, obviously, but I wanted to give it a try. I'm currently in my car. I'm about to go get coffee and I'm about to start my first book for Summer Summerween. So, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's my birthday tomorrow, so it'd be a perfect birthday gift if you subscribed. But anyway, and also give this video a like if you're excited for daily vlogs. Zach is also going to be featured in these videos too. Um, and he already started his first book. He's reading Kin by Keelan Patrick Burke. If you did not see my last video, or maybe two videos ago, I'm not totally sure, um, him and I filmed our TBRs. And so, I'm starting with, we need to do something by Max Booth III. This is the one where family gets stuck in their bathroom during a tornado warning, and you know, things get crazy. So I'm excited to get started with this. Technically, that means I'm going to put the book I'm currently in the middle of on the back burner, which honestly, I am I think I'm okay with. I'm reading Notes on an Execution by Danya Kakafka, and I kind of am okay with putting it on the back burner, burner like I said, because I'm loving it so much, and I like kind of don't want to finish it, um, but I will. I'm probably going to finish it actually like in the middle of Summerween once I get some of the like um, prompts read. So this one I'm counting as Halloween colors. It's kind of more like fall colors, but you know, we're going to count it. And yeah, so I'm going to get started with this. I'm going to follow along physically while also reading the audiobook because I actually still had the audiobook on my phone when Zach was listening to it. So very exciting. And yeah, let me know what you're planning to read for Summerween down below. And hopefully this daily vlogging thing goes well. I kind of have a crazy day tomorrow. So that's the only day that I'm a little nervous about. Like I said, tomorrow's my birthday. But also, one of my best friends is getting married tomorrow. So I'm going to be busy doing that in the later part of the day. And then I'm going to have to try and upload the video on hotel Wi-Fi, which... I don't know how well that Wi-Fi is going to be, so we'll see, but yes. So, Kin for Ke by Keelan Patrick Burke for Zach, and then this book for me, and uh, yeah, let's go get coffee. I'll probably be getting tom uh, coffee tomorrow too because I'll get my free Starbucks uh, for my birthday, so we'll probably be getting coffee tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this book. I guess I can talk about notes on an execution while I'm just sitting here waiting to get my drink um it's amazing i've heard really good reviews about it but i've kind of stopped watching them just because i don't want to be skewed one way or the other and i don't want any spoilers not that people i watch give spoilers but i just kind of don't want to know anything more but i originally got this book from the library which you probably would have seen in zach's um like come to the library with us for the first time which genuinely was the first time we ever went to the library like that was not a title or anything like that it was totally factual um as i was saying for notes on an execution i actually got the book originally from the library i wanted it from the library because i didn't want to spend money on it because i wasn't sure it was going to be the book for me and then I started reading it and I got about 30 pages into the book and I was like, I want a physical copy. So I had gotten some um, Amazon gift cards early for my birthday. And so that was one of the books I picked to get. And I kind of want to annotate it, but I didn't really want to start from the beginning to annotate it. So I'll probably annotate it the next time I read it again because this is definitely a book I'll want to reread again. I can already tell it's going to be a new all-time favorite just because it's very much so my kind of book. Um, so if you did not know what it's about, you start the book 12 hours away from Ansel Packer's execution. He's on death row uh, for killing multiple girls and 
so you're following him. It's told in second person, which is, like, maybe my favorite part. You really feel like you're, like, going through his thoughts with him. You're in it with him. And I enjoy following his perspective. It's very interesting. And, uh, yeah, really liking that. And then it alternates chapters with three different women in his life and they you basically learn about their backstory how they're connect how they're connected to Ansel and um speaking of Zach he's literally standing outside the house right now and how they're connected to Ansel and you know all that so we have his mother we have his sister-in-law and then we have a girl who used to be in the foster care system with him who actually ended up being uh going into the police force and is the one who brought um him to justice so i am really enjoying it and yeah <sighs> i think it's gonna be a five star i think it's gonna be a new all-time favorite and yeah zach is literally standing outside right now i just got home with my coffee so say hi babe <laughs> Look at my Amazon contraption. It's working nice, right? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so as Danielle was saying, um, I'm reading Ken by Kaelin Patrick Burke. Wow. Um, I'm not even to chapter 10, and I... I trust me, I'm going to finish it. But it's going to be hard to stomach. It's just one of, like, pardon my French, one of the most fucked up beginnings to a book that I have heard. Like, the cannibal family is just... Well, you said it reminds you of a movie. Yeah. If you guys have seen Wrong Turn, just the first one. Every sequel afterwards have been really crappy. But the original one... There's also a X-Files episode that's, like, about a cannibal family. Also a very effed up episode from the X-Files. Um, but I'm getting wrong turn vibes from this book, and I'm, like, I'm for it, but I'm also not for it because it's, like, just creepy as hell. So this was Fulfilling Slasher, right? Um, yeah. It actually kind of has Halloween colors, too, so. I mean, this... This, like, fulfills all the prompts. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... I don't even know if I want to, like, pick up lunch and read this book at the same time. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think I'd be able to do that. I have to eat a salad. Wait, can you move your drink real quick towards me? Oh, okay. Guys, look at my new bookshelf. I still need to organize it, but let me know if you want to see a video of me doing that. Anyway, so you're liking the book so far, though? I feel like this is... The You're girl, intrigued by it I feel like least. this is like the girl next door territory. It's like, I want to like the book, but I don't know if I can. Alright. So, I mean, we'll keep you updated, but I'm... I'm enjoying it, yeah. Alright, and then on the other side of where Zach is sitting, I have am about to start this. I have my headphones on because I was just editing a little bit. A uh, different video. So now I'm going to start this and we'll let you know uh, updates for our books when we have them. We have a couple errands to run in a little bit. So we'll take you along with us in the car for those. And then we'll probably get lunch and yeah, get back to our books. I literally can't wait for this. I'm just so excited. Let me know if you've read this and let me know what your rating was. So see you in the next clip.
back in the car with Zach and we both have read more in our books. We're on our way to do some errands and then probably pick up some food. I have made it 50 pages into We Need to Do Something and you start right away into, um, you know, the chaos. They're basically just got trapped in the bathroom and this book is being told from the daughter's point of view. There's also a son and then the two parents. They're all trapped in this bathroom um, with a tornado warning. And um, this family is like kind of, the dad is like kind of a bitch, not gonna lie. And they like all do not get along. So, you know, trap them in a bathroom and things get wild. So, um, I have just gotten to the point though where the storm is done and they're all just trying to figure out what is going on, what's real, what's not. So I am definitely intrigued with it. Um, and also they got trapped because a how or a tree um, split their roof in half and is basically right in front of the bathroom door. So they have no way of getting out. All their phones are basically dying, um, except for the dads, I think. He might have a little battery left, but I don't know. He's kind of weird about his phone. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at in my book. So I have about 100 pages left and also an hour and a half with the audiobook. I'm enjoying the audiobook a lot. And like I said, I'm kind of doing both together. And then Zach, where are you at? I'm on page 115 in Kin. And yeah, it's just a very demented book. Um, we just got introduced to possibly another two people that are going to try and help the girl who is being tortured by these, uh, cannibals. Um, the other people who tried helping her, um, just like the X-Files episode, I swear to God, this book is like, like, wrong turn in that episode of X-Files combined. Like... I, I don't want to spoil nothing, but people who tried helping him just know she needs another set. So, but yeah, no, so far it is really good. I am not sure how long I'm going to stomach lunch um, if we do pick up food here, which I think we're going to. Um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but, uh, yeah. And then also, if you didn't watch the TBR video, this is like his probably fifth book by Keelan Patrick Burke so he's definitely familiar with the author but this is probably like the most disgusting one you've read by him yeah it's, so yeah very 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 much so this is also the one by Keelan Patrick Burke that ends up in a lot of his TBRs and he just like never gets to it and everyone's like no you need to read it and so those people will be excited <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're gonna go do our errands and then I guess we'll probably see you at the house when we get back to reading. I don't know if we're gonna read right away when we get home or if we might like hang out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I also didn't mention that him and I are, have a four day weekend this weekend because of the wedding. We kind of just took a long weekend. So we definitely have a lot of time to actually do this readathon. Another reason why we decided to. So yeah, I guess we'll see you back at the house. All right, I made it to page 100 in my book and, and I can't say much because it's such a short book and I don't wanna really, you know, give anything away. But I'll just say that some things are happening now in their house and so, you know, obviously they're wondering what's going on and I like am so eager to see 
how this book is going to end. I told Zach my theory, but because he's read this book and he said that I was like maybe on the right track. So now I don't really want to say my theory in here just because um, I don't want to be like, oh, I was right with what I thought at the end because then you would know what the twist is. So yeah, I think I kind of maybe know what's going to happen. I don't think I have it 100% right. But yeah, I'm really liking it though. I think that this book is probably like a four star right now. Um, it'll depend on how it ends. Um, so there we go. I think we're both going to finish our first summer ween books here in the first day and maybe even be able to start our second one. So that would be exciting. I don't know which book I'm going to choose next. Possibly Camp Slaughter. But also, I randomly want to maybe try and find a Goosebumps with Haunt in the title because I'm really not feeling the haunting of Hill House. And if, like I said, in the Summerween TBR video, I said in that video, I've tried that book twice now and have set it down, like soft DNF'd twice. And so I'm like not in the mood to pick up something I'm not super interested in and so I think I might go browse Zach's Goosebumps collection and see if I can find a Goosebumps that sounds interesting with Haunt in the title because my only other options are uh, Darcy Coates books because Zach owns pretty much all of them and I don't know if I'm feeling that either so Camp Slaughter was going to be my slasher and then yeah, I still need a book with Haunt in the title. But I also want to finish here. I actually have the book with me now. I also still want to finish this because, like I said, I started it. And I have... What page am I on? I'm on page 145 out of... I think it was like, yeah, like 300. So that's a book I'm wanting to finish. So I might just wrap that up today. And then, yeah, I'll have finished two books in day one of Summerween. Also, if you've made it this far in the video, which I actually might put text at the beginning of the video, if you would like to see reading sprints from Zach and I sometime during these four days, let me know. I would probably do them on my channel, but I think that would be fun. I've never done a live, and actually Zach hasn't either, and he's had his booktube channel for two years so it's something I kind of want to try and I think it would be fun I don't know how many people would join because I'm a small channel but I don't know I think it'd be fun for the two of us to do together and we definitely have books that we're wanting to read so let me know if you'd be interested in that and yeah it would probably be maybe like a Sunday night thing I don't know or um maybe like a Monday midday or night thing I don't know that's what I'm thinking so let me know if you'd be interested in that because like I said I think we're doing daily vlogs so this should go up tomorrow Saturday the 16th so yeah interesting but anyway I'm gonna get this finished and then I'll let you know my star rating and um, what I thought so yeah see you in a sec all right welcome to zach's library so i just finished my book and i think i'm going to stick with four stars i liked the book and some of the twists are some of the i don't know if you can technically call them twists i figured out some stuff other things were definitely not figured out but i liked it the ending worked for me Maybe, I don't know, I'll have to sit on it. It could be a five star if I, you know, think about it a little bit more, but like right out the gate, I'm gonna give it four stars. So I finished my first book, my Halloween Colors book. So I was saying in my last clip, hi Zach. Hello. I was saying in my last clip that I wanted to find a different book for the word haunt in the title because I wasn't feeling the Haunted of Hill House the haunting of hill house and i was not feeling a darcy coat so i'm currently in here let me take you out of the shelf i'm currently in zach's room like i said and he has all of these goosebumps so i have a few options that i could go with 
I have, well, maybe only a couple. The Haunted Mask, which I think is probably what I'm going to go with. And then there's the Haunted Mask 2, which is probably what Zach will go with because he read the first one. And I need to read the first one, well, first. And then the other option would be the Haunted School. Maybe I'll read both of them because Goosebumps are pretty short. Oh, let me pull out this one for Zach. Um, so I think I might go with those. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to start those today or if I'm going to try and finish the book I was in the middle of. Um, so I guess I'll let you know when I start reading again. I'm going to take a little break from reading. Zach, how far are you in your book? How much do you have left? Like an uh, hour? Like an hour or so. Whatever the last clip you saw me talk about, that's the last I started reading. I wanted to take a little break myself. So problem is at this angle i'm kind of like on top of a shelf so I'm, yeah well gotta, you guys are literally like in a bookshelf right yeah, now <laughs> so i gotta like angle down otherwise like this is a bookshelf right here yeah um but yeah i stopped reading after my last update because i want to take a little break so whatever you last heard is where i'm at yeah so i think we'll both definitely finish one book like i said well i already have and then i'll let you know what i plan to start next I think I might actually start The Haunted Mask next, just because another short one feels right. And then we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, I'll let you know what happens next. All right, I'm on page 192 of Ken, and it is getting pretty decent. A lot of the parents of the kids who have been killed so far, well, the group of... Uh, the girl who were following, she had three other friends and all of them got killed and all the parents are like, at least two of the dads are finally like, yeah, let's go find the people that did this. Cause the, one of the, the preacher who was or the doctor who helped her in the first place was framed by the hillbillies, um, which actually I haven't heard from them in a while. So I'm kind of curious to see when we'll catch up with them again. Um, but yeah, so far it's been pretty good. Um, I don't have a whole lot left. I think I'm about an hour or so left in the audiobook. So we'll see how it ends. But so far, it's been pretty solid. So another good one from Keelan. So we'll see how it goes. All right. It is now the end of the night. We're going to end off the vlog here for today. But I thought we'd recap kind of what happened today. So I finished two books. We need to do something by Max Booth the Third and The Haunted Mask by Goosebumps. So, Arl Stein. <laughs> or by Goosebumps by yeah. Arl Stein. So this one fulfills the prompt of the word haunt in the title. And this one I'm using as Halloween colors. I kind of talked about this book before. I think I'm going to settle at a 4.5. I said earlier 4 and then I said I could see it maybe being a 5. I'm going to settle at a 4.5. There were a couple things I didn't like about the book. Mainly the little brother. I found him incredibly annoying and like insufferable. I remember that when I read so, that too. So like the half star maybe comes just from that. And then this book, I feel weird rating Goosebumps book because it's definitely not my target audience. But I thought, um, you know, for what it was, five stars, sure. Um, and I can't wait for our future children to read Goosebumps because <laughs> I didn't get to as a kid and I wish I did. Because, I have a collection of them. Yeah. So these are my two for today. And then you I finished. I possibly read the most effed up book I've ever read. Ken by Keelan Patrick Burke. Wow. Which is for Slasher. Yes, this is Slasher. Probably could have fit many, many categories for Summerween, but... Yeah, this book was, uh, I don't want to swear in your channel, but it was a little effed. It's definitely, uh, I will say, though, I thought the ending was good. I I, I honestly think I'm going to give this a five star. As much as I hate some, some of the people dying in this book, I just, I don't know, I can't really, I don't want to dock it for, you know, deaths, which is unfortunate because I think I did that with the last Dark Tower book. Um, so yeah, I am going to give this a five star. Uh, yeah. Thank God, because you've been pushing this book off for like literally years. Yeah, so if you happen to stumble across Danielle's channel from my channel 
and you have watched this vlog and you are one of those people who kept pushing me to read this book, um, I see why. It is very good and also very, very graphic. I also love the ending scene with the sun. I don't want to say it, but man, I really want to. Maybe I'll say it on my channel. Oh, I wanted to say that I haven't read any Keelan Patrick Burke, which I think I also talked about this in the TBR video. But the one that I want to start with is Sour Candy. And maybe I'll actually get to that during Summer Wing, because technically I've knocked off two prompts already. And it's only day one, and this is literally a week long. So maybe I'll uh, get to that. I also want to read um, The Haunted Mask, too. And he said he's going to read that for The Haunt Prompt. And we both still will probably get to our Darcy picks. We'll see. Also, remind me to show you the flowers that I got sent. So my dad, it's been a tradition since forever that he buys his daughters uh, flowers for their birthdays. And now I don't obviously live with him. So he always ships me some via like Instacart or whatever. So I got those sent to me today. It was a little messy, but we got them and we re-vased them. So I can show you those tomorrow. Yes. And for those of you who are asking what I got her, I got her that bookshelf she showed you earlier. And she is also getting some gift cards. I uh, know the flower she likes. It's an orchid. Um, but I uh, just didn't get her one because we knew that her dad, we knew her dad was going to get her flowers. So, and we do not have the greenest of thumbs. Oh, and remind me to show you the, um, I, I got some Amazon gift cards for my birthday and I got a Demogorgon pot. Ooh, it's on that, it's on that shelf so too. so cool. So I'll show you that tomorrow too. But I think that's where we're going to end the vlog for today. This is actually a decently long uh, reading vlog for just one day. But tomorrow, like I said, it's going to be shorter because I'm not going to be filming like oh, yeah. the wedding or the reception. Yeah, so. tomorrow, A, tomorrow is your birthday. There's a wedding. We're we'll eating. film in the morning, though. Yeah, this is also a wedding where we're actually staying at the hotel. We normally don't have the privilege of doing it because all the weddings we attend are nearby. So we usually just come yeah. home. So, yeah, we probably aren't even going to be able to film towards the end of the night. Yeah, so, so we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to both of us. I'll have his channel linked down below, and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to like the video, too. Oh, yeah, Duh. give it a like. Bye. See ya.